from Ephesians 1, 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. To be in Christ can mean a lot of things. To me, it means being in community with others, caring for those who struggle and meeting God in prayer. For a number of years, I led an open mic at our church called Sanctuary Open Mic. The music we made weren't the kinds of songs you normally hear in church, but to us it felt like we were in one of those heavenly places. After one of these open mic nights, I closed up the church and walking out to the parking lot heard yelling and intense cursing. As I came around the corner, I saw a woman in the parking lot looking up at the cross on the roof of the church, shaking her fist and screaming at God in the dark. When she saw me coming, she took off walking the other direction. I left wondering about her and the kind of pain and anger and loss she must have been experiencing. Where were the heavenly places for her? Where were her spiritual blessings? And finally, how would I answer her if she demanded to know how God could allow her to be experiencing such suffering? I have no idea how to answer, how to answer all these questions. But I do believe in a God of love who meets us not only in our times of rejoicing and praise, but also somehow blesses us in our brokenness and poverty and humiliation. When we are in the middle of our suffering and crying out like Jesus did on the cross, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Our duty as Christians to comfort the suffering and feed his sheep is also an invitation for us to find Christ. But how do we find Christ when we often don't even know our own selves? In our culture, we have this incredible idea that we can go on a journey and find ourselves. There is also another notion that life isn't about finding ourselves or anything. Life is about creating ourselves and creating things. But why can't it be both? There is a version of you who you need to find in this life, who you will absolutely recognize when you do. That version of you is somehow hidden with Christ in God. When you find yourself in Christ, you are invited to create that amazing self with God and others who are also walking along the way of love. God is beyond our capability of understanding, but we can know God. We can know without knowing, and we can do this through a journey of prayer with one another and in private. The Catechism of our Church says, Prayer is responding to God by thought and by deeds, with or without words. This says a lot for me. It starts by assuming that we already are experiencing God acting in our lives, and that prayer is how we respond. That we can do it in all kinds of ways, by worshiping here together, singing weird songs at an open mic, or shouting our anger at God under a streetlight. And sometimes we might find that the best response to God is to have no words at all.